Hi children. Now it is time to do chemistry lab experiment. And the lesson is, is matter pure? This experiment belongs to 9th standard. The aim of this experiment is separating the components of ink using paper chromatography. The materials required, beaker, regulator shaped filter papers, black marker, Pencil and cello tape. To do this experiment, we have to maintain some precautions. Make sure that the ink line or mark does not touch the water. Allow the water to move up the paper for 5 minutes and then remove the strip from water. And now it is time to see processor. Take a thin strip of filter paper. It acts as stationary film. Draw a line using a pencil about 4 cm above from the lower edge. Put a small drop of ink at the center of the line. Let it dry. Let it dry for some time. And now Take a small quantity of water in a beaker. Lower the filter paper into a jar containing water with the help of a pencil. So that the drop of ink on the paper is just above the water level and leave it undisturbed. Here, water act as a mobile face. Note, chromatography. The process of separation of different dissolved constituents of a mixture by adsorbing them over an appropriate adsorbent material is called chromatography. The adsorbent medium is generally magnesium oxide, alumina or filter paper. Observation. The water rises upon the filter paper. The colored component that is more soluble in water rises faster and in this way the colors get separated. Final conclusion is capillary action, adsorption, diffusion process are observed. With chromatography technique, components of ink can be separated. Based on this experiment, I'll ask few questions. The first question is, what colors did you observe in the black ink sample? Anyone would like to answer for this question? The answer is red, blue, green color. And the second question is, do the colors occur in the same order and in the same location on all the samples? Anyone else? The answer is, no.